What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, another $500 composite BB Core bat. We have the new Rawlings Icon that is actually replacing the Quattro. And they have said they have completely scrapped uh, the old Quattro bats, those black and red and gray bats. We honestly hated them. Hoping this is a lot better. I hit with this at the Perfect Game All-American game. And I, I was hitting some bombs. So I'm a little bit optimistic, but $500 is a lot to ask for a bat. Let's get it. All right, folks, so a very, very different composite bat this year from Rawlings, and I honestly think it is due. Uh, the Quattros really went downhill from those early models that were kind of fragile. They made some more durable replacements with these black and red Quattros, and I thought they just weren't good at all. And now we have the new Icon, which has a new end cap on there, new handle, a new connector piece, a different grip with a different taper and a very different knob, a different designed composite barrel, a different weighting and warm-up swings. It feels like they were made by two different companies, honestly. So before we get going here, we're gonna put a bunch of break and swings on the Icon. We're gonna hop in the cage and we're gonna see if this is somehow possibly worth 500 freaking dollars, man. And lastly, forgot to mention, if this thing is like the real deal, if we actually think it's worth $500, we're gonna compare it to the old Atlas here. And today we're out here at the beautiful George Fox University on the turf here in Oregon. Pretty good sized field. We'll throw up the dimensions here. It's a pretty cold day. It's about 50 degrees only. And just keeping a controlled environment, pitching machine, Machine, same velo for every pitch and we actually have the same baseball for every pitch as well we got the rap soto here to get us some exit velos rawlings icon all right first things first we're gonna see how the old quattro pro compares to the icon just in terms of sound feel weight distribution how the ball carries then we'll get into the review compare this against uh, some of our top dogs in the bb core game one swing with the icon to start that's pretty good Oh, plus plus. Sam would like it. Is that okay right there? Yeah, that's funny, dude. That sounds awesome. Aye. That is absolutely ridiculous how much different that feels from what I remember with the old Quattros, man. All right, Quattro Pro 2022, a bat we really reviewed quite poorly. Woo, that sound is crazy. God, that is, dude, the weight. The weight is somehow all like below the barrel. It, it doesn't swing like a real baseball bat, man. There we go. You just really have to inside out it. If I try to throw the barrel, there's it doesn't even work. Yeah, it's really hard to find the barrel because there just isn't much. This is just an overbalanced bat, in my opinion. I'm going to try to see if I can barrel one. Sounds Good. absolutely terrible. And then back to this for one, and we'll get the Rapsodo set up. Yeah, dude, what I will say about this bat, right off the bat. It's all smashed, by Ooh. the way. The weighting is really, really nice. A slight end load and one of the better kind of swing feels through the zone for a composite bat, in my opinion. All right, see if, uh, see if the Rapsodo reads here. Yep. 80? 93.8. Really? Guys feeling dangerous. Okay, what's our goal? I'm saying 103. Over under 103 today. A $500 bat, we better be 103, bro. Oh! Daryl, it feels really, really good. 99.6. 99.6. It legit feels great. It feels buttery, dude. 100? 105. 105. At 10.2. That was 105? All right, we're going to have to bust uh, the Atlas out for a couple swings, Go though. Okay, that's kind of hands, but that came off really well. 105.4 at 12.4. Are you serious? I swear. We're getting 105s right now? Yeah. Okay, one more barrel, and I'm picking up the Atlas, bro, to see if it's just one of those days. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. This bat's really hot, or I've just been in the weight room. Before we go any further, this bat is suspiciously good. Maybe it's just the baseballs. Maybe something's in the air. Got jammed really bad. Balls hit well. Ninety-nine. Oh yeah. That is hit so hard, dog. I cannot believe that. One hundred four, twenty point eight. Jeez. Kind of off the end, but I think I got it. Real good. 
103. That was hit so hard, dude. 107.2. Okay, we need to prove it though. I need to hit a couple like. Yeah. Yep. pretty well. Should be around 104, 105. 104.7. Yeah, dude, it is. This bat's really hot. That's yeah, hot. This is a good bat. This is really good. I can't, I'm kind of out of loss for words, bro. This is, this is a- the first $500 composite that is actually worth the money? I, <laughs> Honestly. Big words. It feels great. Dude, I will say, like, I love it. The thinness of the handle is, I think, thinner than anything I've ever swung. And I think it's causing me to lose control of the barrel a little bit. Yeah, it's like my my swing and my back control, my back path feels a little sloppy. Dude, that is so satisfying on barrels. What was it? Yeah, I think what we might do is tape it up for your round, and then I'll come back and do like ten swings with the tape on it. That's gone, but there's dude, there's better barrels to be had than that. It's hot, dude. One hundred and one. This, that's not even perfect barrel. And this isn't even, bro, this is a hundred swings in. Panic mode is setting in, bro. That is moving so fast. 108.2. There's no freaking way. That's the that's the best. It's really good. 104.1 at 32.6. Dude, that, that ball probably went 415 feet. I can swing it so hard, but the handle thinness is compromising my barrel control. It's, re it's, re it's really, really good. What was that, 102? 102.9. Good race! It does. I'm telling you. Okay, we have to tape it now. All right, Zach, so start with the grip as is. See if you like it. If not, we can tape over it. Perfect. Oh, dude. Dude, that sounds so good. Oh, yeah. 375 on swing two. Oh, yeah. 95. Dude, this feels, yeah, this feels really good, though. Easy too. 96.4. Kind of toward the end. Like under everything. All right, so first couple hacks, thoughts on the handle. Handle's just thin, so I think that's why I'm like, I'm losing the barrel and some of those balls, like my miss is underneath right now. Let's try freaking taping over it, dude. I think we just did some. That's it. That's it. That's for sure it. We literally put a grip over the grip. That's crazy. And the thickness is perfect. A 0.5 Bruce Bolt or Lizard Skin grip or Vulcan grip over the existing Icon grip. Yeah. This is the exact same thing that I did with the U Trip version of this bat. I'm literally and so excited. Unlock. Oh, this is going to be it, dude. <laughs> he it. That's a C! Oh, yeah. 99, seven, hey, this is, I, I tell you, this could be All it. Right. You got to take swings after. Honestly, what I said about the uh, the Cat X, the One Piece. Yeah, bro. Like, I feel like I could, like, gain this bat right now, yep. and I'd be comfortable. Kind of hands? Yeah. Cause you hear that pitch? Yeah, you can hear the, you can hear I the didn't thing. even feel it. Oh, dude. 104.7. That's legit. This bat's legit. This bat is legit, dude. This is the best composite bat. 
It is. Easily. Not even a question. I think it is. The, what? Rollins is like the three-time defending champion of the worst composite that I've ever swung. And this is fire. This is a 180 from the Quattro. Unbelievable. It, okay, difference. this is more like... Dog, this is legit more like the, the highlighter glow stick Quattro than any of yes, the other Quattros. Yes, yeah. And I feel like I can, I have absolute bat speed with this too. Oh my God. Oh! I'm done. What was that? 100.3. I'm freaking out. What are people going to think of us if we hype up a $500 composite bat? This would be one of my first times ever doing that. Ever, that, but that's why it's like, you gotta listen. I hate that it's good. I do too. <laughs> listen, I don't like composite bats either. This thing's fire though. Nor, nor do I like Rawlings bats. Nothing against Rawlings, <laughs> but I normally don't like your bats. But I like this one. How good does that feel, dude? There's two grips on here and it feels just perfect. It feels completely normal. That feels incredible. That feels incredible. Already went a four, I mean. All right, putting the grip on there made this bat like gamer kind of territory. That's 106. I'm absolutely barreling balls, dude. That's 107, dude. Gosh. All right, our number one overall rank BB core bat. Can it hang? Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Dude, I don't know. I still just love this bat so much. See, that's off the hands, and that like kind of hurts, but that's 103. Yeah, I mean, I can't say the icon's not doing that though. <laughs> like it does that, and it feels good. That ball's absolutely 105 at 27. Oh my goodness! All right. Icon. It, okay, I'm literally going back and forth with the Icon and Atlas. That's, I did not think I'd be doing that today. I brought that bat to like warm up with. Not even that good. I mean, that's, that is so that's far. Right. 101. I just, uh, I was not expecting this at all. I thought this bat wasn't going to be that good. It's every swing. Dude, that, those are lasers. 106. Backside, too. Oh my gosh, 102. I mean, 99 at 28 degrees. That's one of the most impressive bat reviews we've done in a minute. This is potential, like, top five. Like, that's one of my favorite bats I've swung in a bat review, and it's freaking cold and outside. And you didn't even know it. And it's not even that broken in. And for what it's worth here, noticing on the Atlas, and I've seen a few people send this in, you can see the end cap peeling back a little bit there. Uh, I've had a few people break the end caps on this bat. So not like rock solid durability wise, but I mean, this thing's clearly been pretty beat up. Knob's good and everything. So going into it, before I even like swung the bat, I was really skeptical. I mean, $500 composite yeah. bat, we're skeptical of those bats just anyway. The, just about wrote it off. It's a, it's a lot of money yeah. for sure. I don't normally like composite bats. I honestly prefer a one piece. Yep. This blew me away. Um, I was getting really good numbers. I was getting great feedback too. When I got balls closer to the hands, when I got them off the end of the bat, I mean, I literally used the whole bat today. It felt amazing. Only downside to it was the handle for me. Yep. Um, it was really thin, not even really a taper. I need more of a taper. And almost slick. Super slick. We literally just put it over the OG grip and I tapered it a little bit on the end. And that thickness was like perfect. I mean, both of us, like our yeah. numbers started to jump, uh, more consistent barrels. Swing weight was incredible. I think um, I said it earlier in the video, but like you could see the three or four hole guy and then you could see the nine hole guy swinging the same bat. Yeah, like those composite bats usually have a funky weight distribution to them. Really funky. And they, they nailed it. Like that felt like a one piece alloy or a two piece hybrid in, in terms of just like a smooth swing weight. I bro. love the acoustics of it. Like I oh, love the, the sound. The sound was incredible. Just, it felt good. Like it felt like I was hammering baseballs. Yeah. So I was really impressed. I mean, this honestly, like this was not the review I was expecting. No. I was about to write this bat off. And it went from that, uh, which that's why I think it's better. Because like going into it, I had no expectations. No, and it, yeah. Honestly, it blew me out of the water. I'm willing to say right now, like this is a top five bat. This is a top five bat. I can't, dude, like, 
and I don't want it to be, right? Neither of us do. No, no, and I can't think of a reason to argue with that. You can't. It's it like very similar numbers. I just can't believe it's that hot already. It is so hot. And it, and we haven't hit That's what I'm saying, time. dude. <sighs> oh, we're going to put that on the hit tracks again, but dog that Rawlings, Rawlings outdid themselves. This, I mean, this is gonna be, do not sleep on this. No, absolute must though, double grip. Double grip. Game yep. changer. All right, so in terms of like a bat bro scale, I'm definitely gonna wait till we do hit tracks testing and swing this against one more bat to give you the final answer. But guys, my initial kind of thoughts, sweet spot is gonna be a eight or nine probably. Power is gonna be a nine or 10 probably. And swing weight's gonna be like a four or five could be a six but probably around a five and like just adding that up man that adds up to a 23 which is you know top five like for sure and i was not expecting that and is it worth 500 dollars? i'm gonna answer that later because that's tough to say i don't know if any bat's worth 500 dollars, but that is mm, maybe the single best composite bb core bat i've ever swung especially in recent years maybe besides like the z1000 or the glow stick but uh it's so good that we're, we're gonna try it against something like that so there you guys have it if you like the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and head over to baseballbatbros.com to see all of our bb core rankings we have our top 50 on there we have some merch over there as well we'll see you guys next time thanks to george fox for letting us use your field go bruins peace out